Tailwind CSS version 4 has changed everything and you already know that when you're working on Vit React projects then you don't have tailwind.config.js file there actually you used custom CSS you will have custom colors custom fonts and other custom styles but right now how you can just define custom colors custom fonts and any custom styling on new tailwind css okay so for doing this actually i will guide you how you can set up bit react project and then just define our custom colors and use them define our custom fonts okay so for doing this actually let me create a new folder and this is actually a project folder and let me name it for example react tailwind css okay something like this then we'll have to open it on visual studio code so that's why i open visual studio code and simply drag this folder and drop it here so right now this folder is empty and we'll start from the beginning and we'll have to create a bit react project so that's why let me open the terminal and then we will simply define npm create hit at the rate latest okay so then we'll have to press enter it will ask for the project name we'll define a dot and then press enter then it will ask for the framework and we will obviously choose react then we will choose javascript and then it says you will have to need to install node packages and node modules okay so that's why we'll have to command npm install then press enter okay so it's actually installing all the packages and dependencies to run your project so wait until it complete it's done now we can run our projects by npm run drive okay so you can see the localhost url you will have to press ctrl and click here to open it on your browser you can see you can see this is your vit react project so right now in this project so we will just install tailwind css okay so for doing this i take a new tab and simply search tailwind css and then press enter you can see at first tailwind css.com the official website of tailwind css and right now tailwind css is actually version 4 look it's actually version 4 available and we're going to use this version on our vit react project so that's why from here you will have to click get started button then you are on the installation page you can see get started with tailwind css and right now tailwind css is faster flexible and reliable and it takes zero runtime that means it's give you a superpower again and this version is better than the previous one okay actually if you want to install tailwind css on your beat project the first installation process is here so we'll just follow this step please click here then follow only five steps from here and it will be work okay so let's do it one by one at first we'll have to copy this command and then copy it go back to the visual studio code so let me stop this terminal by pressing ctrl c then we will paste ctrl v then here you can see we're going to install tailwind css and additionally we're going to install tailwind css forward slash bit this bit plugin will work something like this it will actually there is no need of tailwind.config.js file it will actually work for you okay so let me press enter and look it's installing it's done next if you check your package.json file you will see right now tailwind css is installed as dependency not in dev dependency look it's actually not inside dev dependency it's installed as dependency so this is the major sense if you check your previous projects and let me show you if i check my previous projects here if you go to package.json file you will see the inside this dev dependency you have tailwind okay you have tailwind css but currently it's inside dependency block so that's a major sense and it's don't take any runtime issues okay so next thing is that what you will have to do let's back to the documentation and here we'll have to follow the second step it says you will have to configure your vid plugin so why you will configure it so you will have to go to vid.config.js or ts file then you will have to import this line let me copy this and simply go back to your projects let me close it we'll have to go to v.config.js file this is here then we will paste it at the above here actually we just import tailwind css from actually 
tailwind css forward slash bit okay and then it will have to use inside plugin block okay so copy this and go back here here you can see inside this plugin you will have react and after then you will define a comma and then paste it so we are using tailwind css from actually our tailwind css forward slash bit okay so this plugin will run your tailwind css and compile it and give you the same work that did previously but the setup process is very simple right now okay so next thing is that what you will have to do you will have to import tailwind css on your css file okay so that's why copy this line and then back to your visual studio code simply close it go back to src then index.css left all the css so i just press ctrl and a to select everything and backspace to remove then we will press ctrl v to paste it here so we just paste at the rate import tailwind css this will actually import tailwind css and then next thing is that you will have to run it so to run this command actually let me copy it let me clear it and then ctrl v to paste it here we are going to run our project and you can see this is the thing and if i refresh our website you can see tailwind css is applying but the design is broken so that's why to fix it you will have to go to app.css and simply remove it okay simply remove it now you will see your project are using tailwind css and it's working so actually to verify it you can just inspect it and then if you check your head section then here actually you will see inside this style block you can see tailwind css true version is using here look i just showing here you can see in this block actually inside this style section look inside this style sections you can see tailwind version 4 are using okay this is coming from this line okay so this is coming from this line i hope you understand this okay next thing is that how to actually configure it we'll have to use custom colors by this way we'll have some custom colors that is previously defined in actually tailwind.config.js file we'll have to define colors forms it is okay so for doing this let me share my opinion so for doing this actually you will go to documentation and from there if you scroll a little bit you can see adding custom style section so you can see it click here and it will actually give you a guideline how you can do this so if you would like to customize front you will have to include it at the red theme block okay so these will actually drive it if your custom css look we will have to use these patterns so you can simply copy this pattern and let me copy it and go back over project here we can simply paste it okay so at first if you need to just change the fonts how you can do this for example you would like to use poffins font so for doing this actually we will go to the google fonts google fonts then let me go to fonts.google.com from here we will search poffins poffins and then from here you can see click this get font then get embedded then from here actually you will have to copy these sections okay just copy the font and it's actually variant let me copy it and then right now from here we'll just customize it so let me paste it here we'll assign a quotation here and we can simply name it for example it's our primary font so let me define primary font okay so after doing this actually after defining this way you will have dash dash font dash primary okay then you will define your font name and the style of the font okay so if you did it then go back to the app.jsx let me just clear this file and let me close it actually let me clear this file and we will clear it from here we'll just remove everything and let me define for example we'll have a h1 and here this is actually hello tailwind css version 4.0 okay so now if you would like to apply styling you will have class name then let me define text 3xl okay then we will have for example font bold okay 
so now if you check your website you will see it's just front bold it's applying here look okay now if you would like to color it for example text rate 500 something like this you can see it's actually working tailwind css is working but how to use font here we will define font then your font name for example look our font name was primary so we can simply copy this and back here we will simply paste it here so this is our front primary and if you hover you can see it's suggesting your font family and you define poppins look it's suggesting here and if you go back to your website then if you inspect it again and just click it here and if you just click it here you can see i just hovering and it's suggesting the font is actually poppins okay but you can obviously test it from the options from here actually let me drag above okay so here you can see let me click this atron and if you check here actually you will find your font family look this is your font family and here if you click look the font family is poppin sensory but it's actually applying by this way actually you can just use custom font but what about the custom color so for applying custom color for example from these actually i will choose this block okay i will apply the primary color so for defining a primary color let me copy this color code and here actually we'll back to the visual studio code from here inside it actually we'll have to define this way okay you can see at first you will have dash dash color then your color name then the color value let me remove this actually we don't need breakpoint right now okay so let's customize the first one i just rip i just remove others color so i just keep the first one here actually you will have to define your color name for example this is our primary color and after then we will define the value so let me paste the value so this is our primary color now how to apply it for example to apply it go back to the app.j6 here instead of the text color rate we will define our text color will be our primary color okay so right now look primary color is applying and if you check it's actually perfectly working 